Hello everyone, I am Mohuti and you are watching Innovate CS with Mohuti. In this video, I will discuss about the syllabus of computer science of class 11 of West Bengal board. So, you can clearly see that there is theory part of 70 marks and the rest of 30 marks is for practical part. In theory portion, there is three divisions that is brief review of computer systems operating systems and programming in c and in practical there is 30 marks in first part it is computer organization the computer organization is mainly the fundamental of computers you may have learned this in your previous classes so here is history of computers like who invented computer the generations of computers the block diagram of computer system and the input device output device cpu memory units and bus in data representation there is number systems there are four number system decimal binary octal and hexadecimal we have to study the base of every number system and the numbers present in them. Then we have to convert each of the number system to every other. Binary to decimal, octal, hexadecimal and decimal to binary, octal to binary, decimal to hexadecimal etc. Then we have addition subtraction multiplication and division of each of the number system like octal plus octal decimal minus octal like this then there is negative number representation suppose uh, you have question that minus 15 represent minus 15 in one's complement so there are three methods then comes the most interesting topic of our syllabus that is boolean algebra boolean algebra and number system these two parts are the mathematical parts and the computer organization and operating system are the most theoretical part of our syllabus in boolean algebra there is the type of gates, logic gates, or and not, zor, x nor, nand, nor gate, etc. And there is some laws and identities of Boolean algebra. There is also De Morgan's theorem, and uh, we have to prove LHS equal to RHS using truth tables. Then we have to learn the combinational logic functions that is sum of product and product of sum expressions. Then we have simple combinational circuit design that is half adder, full adder, half subtractor, full subtractor, multiplexer, demultiplexer, decoder, encoder and at last multiplication and boots algorithm. In operating system, most of the part is theoretical part like definition, example, etc. And the last is Unix and Linux. There are some comments we use in the Linux operating system. Then we have to learn C programming. It is the basic programming language. There is algorithm and flowchart means you have to solve a problem using C programming and write the algorithm means the step by step start to stop and flowchart is also like algorithm but in different symbols like circle, rectangle, lines, diamond shapes etc. There are many keywords operators and data types in c 
and also header files that we have to write header files in the top of every C program. There are loops like if loop, for loop, while loop, do while loop. Then we will learn array, string, functions, structures and use all of these to solve simple problems using C program. The problems are like find the minimum or maximum numbers among a list of numbers and check if a number is prime or not palindrome or not etc then in practical part we have to run a c program write its algorithm flowchart code and execute the program in the given compiler and we have to write some linux command and ms windows etc so this was all about today's video Stay tuned to my channel to know more about computer science. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to get further notification of my videos. Also, click the like button if you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.